guys, this is Ball and IX. Welcome to one of my very first YouTube videos. Um, it'll be on a game that just came out I found on Steam, or it's been out for a little while now. Um, but anyways, it's Empire and Galactic Survival. Um, it's in its alpha stage still, but I have found it to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, reason being I'm making this video though is it does have quite a learning curve to get over, so I'll be doing a little tutorial on the basics, um, you know, crafting, and setting up a base and you know, making a making a vehicle so there are a few things that you're definitely going to want to look into because honestly when i was out there when i was first coming onto this game trying to figure some things out it was really hard uh there was not a lot online um not a lot of videos actually explaining just the first tutorials and where to go and get around that kind of stuff so i'm going to start this game here just make a little basic uh New game, so we're going to Akua. That's the easiest planet there is. Uh, reason being is the temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. So for anyone American, that is a good temperature. Um, so you're not gonna have to worry about heating or staying warm. Um, also, the atmosphere is breathable, so you don't have to worry about setting up uh, anything to make make your air. So we don't have to worry about that for now. And I will start that game up. Um, so this game here I found to be, I was actually looking into another game that's going to be coming out soon is No Man's Sky. Um, and that actually looks awesome, phenomenal. There's like something to be like, I think how many quintillion stars and planets, so it's huge. Um, but basically this is kind of like that. Um, it's a, a lot like Minecraft. There's a huge crafting system in this game. Um, Star Made as well. I haven't really played that much, but they say that it's comparable to that. So. Right now, I am flying in my little escape pod, wherever we're escaping from, I am escaping from there. Um, but we're gonna go land. And one thing to note is it doesn't matter where we land. So you can land over here, over there. We will not blow up and die. It is set to land and it is safe. So I'm gonna just take her down by the beach here. Boom. All right, so we're landed. We're just hanging out in the craft here. Uh, I think we can look around. Oh, that's the outside of the craft. So we're going to just hit T, and that will take us out. Uh, here's my guy. Here's the uh, third-person view. Uh, you can change your colors and the settings of your armor and all that. Um, but what we're going to do here is go to our inventory and take the helmet off. So now we are breathing the atmosphere air, and we're not breathing the air from our oxygen, ta oxygen tank because we're going to need that later as well. So next we're going to go to our escape pod and at the back of it here we press T and here's all our supplies we landed with so let's just take all these and bring them over into our inventory. So now we are set here to start the uh, tutorial and follow along with that because honestly if you try to come to this game and unless you already have you know watched this video or something else you're going to definitely have some trouble. So. We're gonna place our survival constructor first, and we're just gonna go hit I for our inventory. And where is that again? I haven't played this one for a bit. Okay, there's our survival constructor. So this is like home base for now. So we can go and put it anywhere we want. I'm probably gonna find a little bit more of a, you know, we could still take it right to here. Let's put it right here. So now that we have that down, as you can see, we have more options to continue the tutorial. Um, I'm going to try and not make this boring as possible, but there are some things that I'd like to point out right off the start that were really confusing for me. Maybe I'm just stupid, but um, basically what it says here is it add all crafting materials. So, you know, I added my silicon, copper, iron, and such, but there are other materials that we will be crafting with. So we have these here, Promethean pellets, we'll add in and our magnesium powder. Those are all crafting materials. And as you can see, crafting materials is now checked off. So let's go ahead and okay, add fuel pack templates. Da -da -da. There's some more crafting there. Fuel pack templates. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so I guess it just wants us to build some, right? So. As you can see over here is our templates, here's our inventory in the constructor, and here's our player inventory. So when we're crafting things, we will be hitting the fuel pack there. So 
hit that and then we hit on and then it will start crafting down in our construction queue there's I think about 10 spots for that all right so now that we've done that here we're gonna place our O2 generator and we're gonna place our power O2 gen and then, well sorry we're gonna power our O2 generator there's O2 and our oxygen generator line okay so let's grab our O2 generator and now that we've got some Promethean energy pallets let's put those in there we can go and power it so basically those are going to be your power source in this game and we take down this uh, O2 generator and we're gonna put it just in the water not too far out not on the land obviously and then this will get our water for us so let's go here and we'll put some energy in there and you can hear it boot up so we will let those run and it will start making our O2 all right so let's head back up here find some edible plants oh great yeah we got to go ahead and get all these plants so there's a lot of vegetation on this planet and basically you're just running up and pressing T on okay here's these are these the corn dogs they have corn dogs so you can eat corn dogs those are not yeah those are the corn dogs but edible plants I don't know why they don't let you eat some some of the things here they're gonna have to have to fix but I'm gonna go ahead and find these and I will get back with you in a second okay guys welcome back so as you can see I found my two edible items they were the corn dog and well actually the one edible item was the corn dog and the other one was the medical item so it says consume the edible item so as we go there it's a corn dog we are gonna eat the corn dog which is a plant but we can eat these so let's how do we eat these things again oh, basically I came back from fighting my edible plant and my medical plant and it asked me to eat the edible plant so I did find one of those corn dogs which is edible and I ate that by pressing T so that is the next step um, now we need to go and kill an animal and loot an animal so let's just check our inventory here quick we do have a projectile pistol and we do have some 50 cal bullets for it so we will take those out uh, do we have, no we don't have to reload so let's go hunt and kill an animal and we will loot that animal uh, I'm gonna just turn the jetpack on I turn my jetpack on we have a little booster on our backs that we can use by hitting J for the jetpack so this actually is the game in the day but once the Sun goes down it gets kind of creepy um, and you will find that there will be forget what they were called but they come out at night and if you shoot at them they will fight you and come back at you so here's a dinosaur one of the many creatures that you'll find on the planets and I'm going to just shoot it and oh, it's running away and reload Give it a couple more bullets come on buddy there we go so I killed that guy and we will go up and press T on his body and he has some meat and we will loot him so now that we are done that we need to go cook a steak or a salami I'm going to fly back to our home base our constructor is our temporary home base oh shoot actually here's one of those guys he is really big not too hard to kill but you still can have some trouble with him if you don't have a gun don't go and try to fight him all right, so let's get back. Let's get back. Home base, yeah. Okay, so how do we cook this stuff again? All right, so like we'll put the raw meat in our inventory once again. We'll click our food tab, and we'll click grilled steak. So now it is grilling these steaks. Pretty self-explanatory, but you know, if you're a new player, you might have some trouble doing this kind of stuff. Okay, that's done. And does it want us to eat it? Oh no, it wants us to craft an assault rifle, right? So now we are going to do the assault rifle. And here are the weapons. 
the weapon category. Here's all your categories actually. Um, as you can see, we do not have a weapon called the assault rifle. So what we have to do is we have to click inventory and then we have to go to our tech tree. This is all the things we can learn and create eventually in the game. And we will go to our weapons and the assault rifle is right there. Um, let's see. All oh, right. So we need to be level what is it level six level three sorry we need to be level three to unlock this and right now I am level two so I'm gonna go and shoot a couple of those guys over here and we'll level up so I'll get back with you in a second on that now we are level three and now we need to go back to our tech tree we need to go to our weapons and we need to unlock the assault rifle so we will unlock that and head back to our constructor and as you can see the assault rifle is there um, but we do need some components and pieces for this to be made and we need five metal components one electric electronic alright so five of these uh, I made six, it's no big deal. We're gonna be using a lot of this and one electronic. So we'll wait for that to go. All right, we should be good. i uh, waiting for this electronic one more. And when that is done, this will light up. All right, crafting the assault rifle. And also we'll need these 5.8 millimeter bullets. We'll need some more metal pieces to build those. And that gun has taken a little bit of time. At one point during the game, you will get your base set up. And once you have your base set up and running and turned on, the aliens that live in this galaxy or the solar system, you could say, will <coughs> uh, pick up on that and they will come and start making bases. You'll notice off in the distance, so don't freak out too much. But you may freak out when they do start attacking. So that's at one point you're gonna need some you're gonna need some turrets to protect you otherwise you'll just be using your gun and that can get a little tedious so here's the assault rifle I will put that in here because that is a much more powerful gun than this projectile pistol alright so that's what the gun looks like oh, okay you wanna freeze up alright that's what the gun looks like we can use our thumb scroll or our finger scroll spin wheel whatever you wanna call it to zoom in and look out so I remember on my other game there was probably a base that spawned right out there and you could see them see some activity out there and that's where they come from when they would send their attack ships to attack you or I guess their drones they didn't send the ships your ships those ships would probably take you down quite easy but the drones are not as hard to shoot so let's make these bullets one bullet I think gives you 25 bullets or one craft will give you 25 <clears throat> yeah, output counts 25. All your information on the side there. Boom. All right. So I'm going to make one more while we are doing this. And we'll put that there. All right. So now that we have protection, it is telling us to pick up some ore. So as you can see, there is an iron deposit there. Okay. Yeah. That's the farthest away our deposit is. So I'm going to go run there and. Once I get there, we will be back. Okay, I've made it to the iron deposit, and our base was back over there, but this dinosaur seems to want to walk right into the little mine I've created, so that's great for this video. Maybe he'll move out. I could shoot him. You know what? I'll shoot him. Let's reload here. We can zoom in. Oh, he's coming at me. Oh, you're down, boy. Took him out. There's some meat. I'll take that quick. And we'll get right back to the task at hand. All right, so as you can see, I pulled out my drill. You get that in inventory. This is your drill when you're doing your mining, when you're digging deep in the ground. Uh, here's your drill charge. Um, these are charges for when you run out of charge on your drill, obviously. Um, but let's just go down here. And I didn't show myself drilling this far down because it can take some time to get to the source. So you have to be ready to grind. I actually 
spend probably over 20 minutes in one of these mines digging up these pieces of ore. So that is the ore that you'll be getting and as you're mining you can see more and more ore will pop up <coughs> or will not disappear. The uh, pieces of stone that you could pick up that come with the mining will disappear. Um, so yeah, I'll pick up a few more, but that's basically all we need to complete that part of the tutorial. And one more tip for when you're making your mind, I recommend not mining straight down, but mine kind of on a slant, because at one point in this game, I was a very big noob and I mined straight down, I dug straight down, and I got myself stuck and I don't think there was any way for me to get out of there. The jetpack would simply not shoot me up high enough. So that is my tip for you there. Uh, thank you for watching the first part of my tutorial for Empire and Galactic. Um, hope you uh, found it helpful and if you would like to give me a good review or not, that is up to you. But I will have the next, next tutorials coming for you very soon. Thank you for watching.